要跟大家讲讲村庄的新趋势，而且我要访问的这位来宾呢，他非常的重要，因为他之前是在知名的杂志《Mary Claire》担任资深美妆编辑，大家一定很想知道到底是谁吧？那我们现在就来欢迎我们的编辑 l i n c h a o Hello， Hi， Hi， 所以我想要问问他，就是关于美妆的这些春夏趋势，还有一些其他问题，大家一定也很想知道，所以我要问问他为什么他会想要从杂志然后转战这个 b u i l i l i s h 他是一个。社交网站，而且是专门给美妆网友来分享心得的。那我就来问问他 ，You you used to work in the printing area, right?、Mm-hmm. So what makes you to move from west, not only from east coast to west coast, but also move from the printing to the digital media? Well, obviously the weather is much better on the west coast, right? I mean, you have the sunshine in California, and I think the big difference between working in magazines and working in、um, The online community is that first of all you can interact with all of your readers, so it's not even that you're having people who are just looking at your stories and you know thinking their own thoughts, but they can respond to you immediately. You know, you talk about a mascara that you love, and then people can write back and be like, "Oh, that's my favorite too," or "I don't like that one. I actually like this one instead." So I really like the interaction that I can have now with the people who are reading my stories. I see. So he just said, "Ning," he just said, "Not only is the weather better on the east coast, but it's also better on the west coast." And these social media sites, the most important thing is that you can interact with these readers. 有及时的互动，所以当你分享了一个睫毛膏很好用的时候，可能马上有一个 user 他跟你说，哦，真的我也有这个睫毛膏，非常的好用。那这个及时的互动性就是 digital media 跟 printing 最大的不同。那我想要知道啊，像现在我也是一个美妆部落格部落客，那我想知道像这些美妆部落客，不知道对美妆产业有什么影响。So Ning, I know there's a lot of famous blogger like they are especially focused in the beauty. So what this bloggers and the website has the Effect for the beauty industry. Well, I think the power of these websites that are beauty oriented is that makeup companies are actually taking a lot of advice and opinions that are coming from bloggers and from just you know everyday women. Before it was always just you know the editors giving feedback or you know sometimes they had makeup artists who could give feedback, but now it's that every woman can get feedback. So he just said, is that before, 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 就像你生活中平常的朋友，所以你会觉得说比较真实，因为这些人就是真实的存在这个社会上，而且他们看的观点也会跟你一样。那大家也想知道，身为资深美妆编辑，有不知道还有没有什么最喜欢的品牌或是最喜欢的产品？因为常常我知道他们真的见识过很多产品和品牌，那当然他们一定会有一些他们特别喜欢的东西。那现在就来问问他吧。So Ning, as a beauty editor, you must be known a lot of products and brand. Could you tell us what is your favorite brand or what? Is your favorite product? Well, I brought some of the products that I'm wearing right now. Cool. In my pen case. So let's see what we have here.、Um, so this is my absolute favorite mascara. It's the Kanebo Sensei 38 Degrees Lengthening and Separating Mascara. And what I really love about it is that if you open it up. You'll see that it looks like it's really chunky, but when you put it on your eyelashes, it actually creates these little fibers that stick to your lashes. So it almost looks like you're wearing false lashes without it. And it, the amazing thing is that it's called 38 degrees Celsius because that's the temperature that the mascara comes off. So you know, all day long it's wearing, but once you take a shower, the mascara comes off. So this is waterproof. Could I、it's、say waterproof? waterproof? Yeah, it's waterproof under 38 degrees. It's like sweatproof too. Yeah. Yeah. So he just said that this Sensei is from Japan's company Kanebo, which is a makeup company that has launched this makeup mask. It's a very unique and very effective mask. It's very special that it has these fragrances. So when you apply it, it looks like you're wearing a fake mask. And its name is called 38 degrees C. That means that this mask has been sealed with the mask. When you apply it, you don't need any special sealing agent or special sealing agent to seal it. It's just the mask itself. 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 你只要洗澡的时候用三十八度 C 的热水呢，它就可以卸除。其实三三十八度 C 不算是热水，它跟我们体温差不多，所以大概是温水的温度就可以卸除，所以非常的方便。So besides this one, do you have any other product well, that you like? I brought my lipstick, which is from Mac. It's this color called Gulabi. It's a lip mask, but it's a bright pink. It's from their in Bollywood collection that they did with makeup artist Mickey Contractor. And、um, the big trend for spring is bright lips, but it's also matching your lipstick and your nails. That's what I did today. So he also said that these these this 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 this
Speaking of the fa um, fact, the 3D trend in spring and summer, what do you think about new spring and summer trend? What other trends there are? Um, another huge trend is going to be pastel smoky eyes. So, you know, usually smoky eyes you think of really dark navies or browns or blacks, and that's what you see a lot on the red carpet. But for now, I think that people are changing that perception. They want something that looks a little bit more natural, maybe a little bit prettier, a little bit less tough and fierce. So they're choosing maybe a little bit of a lighter gray or a pale purple, and I think that's really pretty. So I just asked him, what is the spring summer trend? He said, well, actually, the spring summer trend is still in fashion. It's still in fashion. But as usual, the fashion clothes are usually green, like green, 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 很强烈而且很厚重的颜色，所以你看起来可能会有点不容易亲近的感觉。但今年春夏流行可能是浅灰色啦，或者是浅紫色，以这样子柔和的颜色来做出烟熏妆的效果，比较温和。既然讲到春装、彩妆流行新趋势哦，其实我们今天就是来了一个春装皮日的 party。那我想要问问他，就是这个 party 到底是怎么样一个 party？ So speaking of the spring summer trend. We are at this spring summer trend preview party. Could you tell us about this party? What is it about? So this is a beautylish party, and we do this every season where we're introducing the new trends for that are upcoming. So this is for spring and a little bit of summer, but mostly for spring stuff. So we're featuring three big trends this this tonight, and it's going to be the bright lip. Which we talked about the pastel smoky eye and also slick back hair, which is a big hair trend for spring. So he just said, "Today, tonight, because today we are actually a little bit like spring, but with a little bit of summer trend. So the main thing is to teach you about the new trends, such as the bright lip color, which he just said, and also the more dark hair, and the most important thing is the bright lip color. And the most important thing is the bright lip color. And the most important thing is the bright lip color. And the most important thing is the bright lip color. And the most important thing is the bright lip color. And the most important thing is the bright lip color. And the most important thing is the bright lip color. And the most important thing is the bright lip color. And the most important thing is the bright lip color. 他担任的这个角色是 beauty director， 所以我想要知道他未来想要在 beauty list 做出一些什么事情。So Ning, as a beauty director, what do you have to do? I mean, what is your bright? Image for Beautylish. Well, my dream for Beautylish is to create more of an editorial voice. So right now we have we're creating a lot of content for the site. So things like reviews for products. You know, we're doing a lot of Fashion Week backstage information on how to do the hair and makeup. A lot of like celebrity interviews of what they do. So it's going to be a lot of exciting new content for Beautylish. So he said he hopes in the future to help Beautylish this website to create more content, more like from fashion show backstage and those makeup and how to make it. 还有更多专家或者是说明星的采访，主要的就是丰富这整个网站的内容。那我们今天谢谢林超接受我们的访问 ，Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So you want to bring this skincare, fashion, makeup, and beauty information to the beauty lovers? Yes, that's right. We saw what was happening on YouTube with so much popularity of the YouTube gurus like Michelle Phan and many others, and we just wanted to create an easier way for them to be able to connect with women like themselves. Would you say that the next state of the beauty industry is all happen on internet? Yes, the young people today don't really read magazines, or it's changed how people are finding information. And we think that discovering from similar like friends or sharing on the internet is really the way of the future, not so much in the print or in traditional media. So he just said he created this website to share beauty, hair, makeup, and fashion information. And he found that more and more young people don't read magazines and don't read books. So the website is definitely the next big trend in the beauty industry. So today, thank you for accepting our interview. Thank you, Neil.